Hi everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and this is Back to Basics Stampin' Up Style Part, I believe, 7. <laughs> so anyway, um, today we are going to go over embossing, and there's a few different ways to emboss. Um, actually, there's quite a few ways and variations in embossing, and some are more advanced, but I'm going to show you the two basic, which is using an embossing folder, and using embossing powder which we are going to use to create this bike and I love this stamp set this reminds me of when I was younger I had a friend that had a bicycle built for two and um, I, I just love this stamp set this stamp set is called pedal pusher and this is the stamp set it's super cute and this is one of the new celebration items that you can choose if you place a $50 order with me. You can choose this as one of your free items. Now this is replacing the other ones that we had that were limited time. So this is one of the stamp sets that is replacing that. So let's go ahead and get started with this. And what you're going to need is a basic card which is five and a half by four and a quarter. Now I showed in a previous video how to cut and score to get your basic card. So then this is the designer uh, designer series paper we're using and it's a six by six pack and it's from Have a Cuppa. And this piece is five and a quarter by four. And then you're gonna need a piece of Bermuda Bay which is five and a quarter by three. This is we're gonna emboss with the embossing folder on this. And then to stamp the bike and emboss in our sentiment is five and a quarter by two and then you'll also need a piece of basic black ribbon and this is our stitched ribbon um, in basic black so that's what I'm using for this card and I also um, used this little heart and I can't even remember where I grabbed this out of one of the other stamp sets that I have and I'll just post it on my blog um, I want. I just wanted to add a little bit something to it, and so I just grabbed this little heart. But I'll post all the supplies on my blog. Okay, so let's first go ahead and emboss this. And you do need a heat uh, embossing heat gun uh, to emboss with the embossing powder. So I'm going to show you here how to do that and what we're going to do. Oh, I wanted to mention too, if you're new to stamping, Stamping Up carries these. Um, grid papers and it's very inexpensive and it's a big stack so um, it's perfect for when you're a beginner and you're learning to line up your sentiments to keep them straight or lining up your paper um, and your stamps it's really a good thing to have so I just wanted to let you know that so the first thing we're going to use is our little embossing buddy this has like a powder in it which keeps the static down on the embossing powder so the embossing powder doesn't stick to where you don't want it to stick so I go over it a few times and then we're ready to emboss so you'll need some Versamark and this is the watermark um, stamp ink so you're not going to be able to see this but you will be able to see it on your stamp that your stamp is covered if you look in a light. So make sure you um, stamp that really well. And then we are going to stamp that right in the middle. Just stamp down and then up and it's kind of sticky. So when you pull it off you'll kind of hear a sticky sound and you can't really see it I don't think in the video I can see it in the light but I don't know if you can see that it is in it has the little sheen to it so next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper really quick because I don't I want to keep using my embossing paper uh, my embossing powder which is our black and then you're gonna just pour it over the top and cover that and be very generous because you're not going to waste this we're going to that's why I have that paper we're going to put it back in the jar when we're done so then I just kind of flick it off and if you see areas that have hasn't covered I go ahead and I just kind of scoop it back up 
because I want to make sure it's covered really well. And then you can see that I got those areas. So we're going to set that aside and what I do is I just fold my paper and put the embossing powder all back in the jar because it doesn't take a whole lot and you want to save it. So I have a little bit on here. I want to clear that off before I'm embossing. Now this is our Stampin' Up heat, uh, heat tool and it's going to set the embossing on here. And so we are going to, what I usually do is I kind of turn it on. I know the noise is a little annoying and it gets really hot pretty quick. And then we're going to move it around on the paper until you can see the embossing powder melting. Don't leave it in one spot because you don't want to burn your paper. But I can start seeing it melt. And I think we've got it all now. Normally when I'm doing this in a video, I turn off the... Um, sound because it really really is noisy <laughs> but anyway you could probably see it has that uh, it's embossed and it has that shiny look to it and it's super cute and it really brings out the details of that bike so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take some of my Stampin Write markers and I've got Bermuda Bay and uh, Tangelo Twist and Daffodil Delight and I have um, our black. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp our little duck, our little bird and I forgot to get him out and I'm going to stamp him with Crushed Curry He's, he's really little. He's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to use some crushed curry and I'm going to stamp him one on each seat. And he's so cute. And then I'm going to use the markers to color him in. So I'm going to color them in with Daffodil Delight. It's a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to use the Tangelo Twist for their little beaks. They are so cute. I think I'm going to make their feet the same. And you could make a little dot for their eyes. But they're so cute. And then I'm going to color the bike. Um, actually, I'm going to do, while I have this black one out, I'm going to color this seat. And I think I did the handlebar. And now we're ready to color the bike. So, so I'm going to grab the sentiment and some of my basic black. And we are going to stamp the happy together right up here at the top. And I can't see, hopefully, that's straight. And let me grab that little heart. And we're going to, these little ones. We're going to put one here. And whenever I stamp like hearts or little things like this, I usually just do them like in odd numbers. For some reason, it looks better when it has an odd number instead of an even. So like three versus four. 
so that part is ready so that is embossing with the embossing powder so let's set that aside and I'm going to bring up the big shot and we are, I'm going to show you how to emboss using an embossing folder so you're going to use your basic platform here and I opened it all the way and it shows you that this is for an embossing folder and you're going to lay one of your pads down I know these pads are really loved and I'm going to use the decorative dots embossing folder which looks just like this and then I'm going to grab my designer series paper here and we're going to just put it inside like that and I always put it where it says the stamping up because that means I'll show you here in a minute how, how it will be embossed and then put another plate on here and then we'll run it through okay, let me move this out of the way and so the little bumps are all on the outside now if you like it the other way you can turn it around and it's like a debossed side so you can use either way I like it with the bumps out so that's how we're going to use this piece so let's go ahead and put the card together so the first thing we're going to do is put our piece of designer series paper I'm going to grab some of my snail And these are actually this is actually running the opposite way than I cut it before but that's okay it's still gonna look really cute so it's that piece and then we'll we'll put on our um, actually I like to use the fast fuse when you emboss it because it is a little bit um, seems like because of the embossing it uh, it's, it holds better when you use the fast fuse so we're going to set that here and then we're ready to put our little stamped piece on here I've really been loving the fast fuse actually there's been mixed reviews on that but I really do like the fast fuse it holds really well and even for boxes and you know I love boxes so we're gonna put that on there isn't that adorable I love the, this little stamp set okay so I'm gonna take my I'm gonna just cut a little bit of a angle there and we'll use And I don't even know, I didn't even measure to make sure I had this. So we're going to lay this down here. I may have to cut some of it off. Yeah, we're a little, I'm a little bit too long. Okay. And so that is it. The card is done. Here's the other one. So this embossing brings a lot of dimension to this card. It's really turned out cute. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you need any supplies for this project, you can get a blog at stampingwiththemore.com. And then I will catch you in the next video. Bye!